Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars, The Force Unleashed. I'm Burning Dog Face. And there's a hole in the wall over there, and the thing I'm supposed to go to over here. I'm pretty sure I need to grab... Wait. I was just about to say... interpret that as a, uh, a fling. Fuck! Did it again! Okay, here we go. I can't do it with this one because I can't... Use lightning at the moment. You're annoying me. Come on, here we go. You know, I don't think I've said it yet. Like, I don't think I've officially acknowledged it. <sighs> One of these days. The reason I'm playing this game now, aside from it being completely different from Clive Barker's Undying... Yeah, okay, it does impact the shield. Eesh. Is The reason I'm playing this now is that... Rogue One comes out next month. The uh, Star Wars uh, interquel. Is it really all? Is that really what I have to do? Or is I just gonna? Like, or is blowing up the thing a uh, an optional thing to get me somewhere else that I would be missing if I? Oh, hello. Bonus. Oh, there we go! Oh, I hit him against the wall and he didn't die, so I got both bonuses. Nice. It'll never stop being amusing to me. So I just thought... You know, Rogue One takes place between Revenge of the Sith and Star Wars. Uh... This takes place between Revenge of the Sith and Star Wars. I don't have exact years, and I never understood the stupid calendar anyway. But, uh... I think this takes place... I think, well, I think if you compare the years, then Rogue One takes place later. But, uh... Again, let's be fair. This move, according to the can uh, internal canon of Rogue One, this movie, this game never happened. I'm off to a great start here. Long way up. did go right. What the fuck? This guy just suddenly died. I don't know, in fact, when his species reaches the age of exactly 70 years old, they instantly drop dead. Like, to the second. Oh, he's done a track on the floor. What fucking difference does that make? Oh dear.
That works too. I was trying to grab the thing right next to him, but you know. Now, where was the thing I saw? Ah. Compressed yellow lightsaber. Now you're doing it on purpose. I watch there have been like the fucking green lights there in the first level. If that was the case, I would totally replay it, but I wouldn't make you guys watch it. Uh, let's upgrade Force Lightning. Yeah, okay. Battle meditation. 3,000 years ago, that was an ability so unique that only one person was known to have it. Oh, yeah. Uh, fuck. I'm rubbing my temple right now. And the bridge of my nose. That's the one. the difference. Oh! Eight! Cool! I wonder why being compressed makes it pulsate like that. I wonder if that'll even show up in a screenshot. Welcome to Raxus Prime, wish you were here. Uh, what? Okay, just don't target that. Oh, let's do the thing over here. Alright, what is the point? Oh, I see, it's gonna change... channeling the junk through elsewhere. Now I'm just making a mess. I get up on top of this. I can't. There is no reason to. Do you fuckers mind? I'm trying to do the lightning bomb, but that works too. Not to be confused with the lightning grenade, I was trying to do the thing where you hit Y, then R. Mmm! Take that, random object! Good thing I just upgraded my maximum force powers, that's really entertaining. Ugh, should have had more coffee today. But yeah, I have to admit, the fact that this game is completely unlike uh, Clive Barker's Undying did have a lot to do with it. You know, bright, colorful, me co mo melee focus. No eldritch horrors trying to take over man's world, knock on wood. I'm not even mad, that was a nice shot. You guys are suicidal! ENOUGH! If 
anyone asks, you learned how to, uh, channel that much hatred? From the, uh, the platformy section I cut out in the uh, first level. A friend of mine told me that the reason they give you the uh, neck crack, or the, the force choke on uh, that button on the Vader level, is because Darth Vader can't use force lightning because uh, most of his body is cybernetic and it would fuck up his life support systems. I mean, the guy's hands are made of metal, they'll probably just channel backwards and fuck everything up. Thank you. Ow. Ow. Cool. Find a way to cross the junk chasm. I can! I figured it would just be points, but you know. Oh. Oh fuck, it's draining my force energy! I figured those guys would be more susceptible to lightning for the same reasons I just told you Vader doesn't use it. But, uh, I guess they're not really powered by anything. They're just held together by the Force. If all of these drones are simultaneously being operated by, uh, Kazdan Paratus, Vader was right. That guy is crazy powerful. Well, I didn't even see this one until I was right on top of it. Okay, this is happening. And now this is happening. Nope, you don't get to be here. My powers? Give me my powers back! Steal my power with your camera. Was that from? Oh yeah. Wonder if that was actually true. If people really believe the cameras would steal their spirits or whatever. Just gotta stay out of its fucking way. Ow. 
Ow! They like them apples. You are not going to be as hard to defeat as ATCT. Which probably means you're going to have more, uh... Oh yeah, I figured that out. That was the thing that confused me in the first level. Uh, I got the, uh... Oh, was right the first time. Yeah, I got the bonus objective, uh... uh the bonus objective I unlocked was getting all the points, not... <laughs> destroying E-Web turrets. Does it say anything cast in Paratus now? Or do I have to kill him before it'll read anything about him? So it might, seeing what this guy can do, it might actually be useful to know something about him. Nope, it wouldn't. It'd be in here somewhere. Humor me for a second. It turns out they list the costumes you have in the actual game at the end of all these silly optional costumes. Uh, training gear. The simple but func f functional outfit, originally provided by Darth Vader, has arrived numerous training sessions and dangerous missions. Heavy training gear. A, ho a homemade outfit that provides basic environment in polluted or caustic environments, such as the polluted surface of Rexus Prime. I thought of setting up a joke where, like, I would be, uh, Anakin Skywalker or C-3PO when I came out of here. Oh, actually, there was one I thought was cool. Uh, I wanted to mention it specifically. I've got Darth Sion from Knights of the Old Republic 2. I noticed that when I was fucking around in the, uh, the frame rate test. I can't remember if I've shown if I've shown that before. That's really cool. Given that these games are not at all made by the same companies. I mean, they're made by LucasArts, yeah, but whoa. You know. uh... The uh, Knights of the Old Republic was made by... Actually, no! Sorry. KOTOR 1 was made by BioWare. KOTOR 2 ran on the same engine and built upon the same mechanics, but it was actually made by Obsidian. Oh, I could do something bad. The people who would, uh... go on to make... uh... Followed New Vegas, I think, most famously. to move that. both sticks, nothing is happening. What, what was I even targeting there? Hey, maybe there was a stick in there. Something got wedged into the physics of the world. Have a thought. Hmm. 
Now, I don't remember where I heard this. I don't know that it was in a uh, in an official interview or anything. But I remember hearing somewhere that Star Killer might have been meant as a sort of an, an evil version of Luke Skywalker. Here's this young man trained in the Force by a powerful uh, Force wielder. Except that he was raised by uh, the Sith Darth Vader. Huh? Instead of by the Jedi Obi Wan Kenobi. Nice. Oh, look at that! It just ran out of fuel. What a weird coincidence. Well, we'll give it a few hours to let that uh, platform uh, cool down. And now we'll uh, cross that bridge and come to a checkpoint, hopefully. Did I just get a checkpoint? I guess I can check the footage. Doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure that would have appeared in the middle of the screen if I had. Except for the blink of an eye. So really what is up with that section there? Now I thought I had to sneeze. Man, that is a lot of jump cuts. Maybe I'll amuse myself by editing in the old uh, Batman transition. I think I've still got that lying around somewhere. Oh, no, I have to go up to the uh, side of the engine on it. I have completely turned around there. And, uh, I don't mention, Clunk279 even commented that, you know, yes, it's nice to have a secret apprentice to help him destroy the Emperor and become the ruler of the Empire, but maybe one of the things motivating Vader was, uh, oh god. Well, I've died. We'll see where it loads me. One of the, maybe one of the things motivating Vader for saving uh, the boy was that, well, you know, Padme's dead. As far as he knows, his children are dead. And, uh... Oh, man. As far as he knows, his children were stillborn. And, oh yeah, they died with their mother. And, uh... He's got nothing. Except for his, uh, duty. I don't know, maybe it's just because he has a completely impassive face mask on all the time. But I've always kind of gotten the impression that Darth Vader is willing to do terrible, terrible things, but that he doesn't take any pleasure from them. Which is an interesting thing for a Sith Lord. So maybe, so, you know, maybe when he saw this opportunity to raise this Force-sensitive kid as his apprentice, he saw, maybe even subconsciously, this opportunity for, uh... Starkiller... for him to raise Starkiller, you know, the way he believed that a uh, person should be raised, you know, which, again, is the Sith way, but... Maybe Starkiller is a sort of surrogate son for Vader. Or maybe Clunk and I are reading too much into this, and he just wanted a weapon to murder Palpatine with. Uh, that being said, I'm going to call it here, since I have to do that all that bit again anyway. I guess I'll just start recording next time, after I create the bridge. 
I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Star Wars. The Force Unleashed. When we continue making our way across Raxus Prime, and hunt down Kazdan Paratus. Later!